Hi, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications uh, at the Gotham Expo a couple days later being released with Paul Isaac because version 2 of the A20 yep. Mini firmware and the A20 Mini remote being released. Tell us what's in it. Yeah, okay, some new stuff. Um, so I'm not going to go over all the original features of the app, mm -hmm. but basically the biggest new feature is the ability to um, turn off multiple transmitters with one command mm. so you know if you've got five ten or whatever transmitters it is uh, hit, hit, I've got five currently on show right now I can just hit select my all transmitters group or, or create a custom group and hit off and you can see how quickly they all turned off that's instantaneous now the important thing is when these units are off they are pretty much virtually entirely off there's virtually no current draw at all in the off state those batteries won't drain at all. Mm. I mean, yeah, maybe after like six to 12 months they will, <laughs> right? But during the course of the day, they're not going to drain. So then I can, so if you're in between scene changes, you can conserve battery power just by turning multiple transmitters off and then turn them back on again when you're ready to start again. And you can see them all come back into the list very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, now, the range from this A20 remote app to the transmitters is really good. I mean, we've had like, over 100 feet easily. Um, I mean, it's going to depend on the environment, but the range is fantastic. These are Bluetooth 5, so we're getting great, great, great response there. So that's one feature. Now, if you are using the transmitters as recorders, mm -hmm. uh, in America, you can use them as recorders or transmitters. In the rest of the world, you can use both simultaneously. But if you're recording, uh, for instance, these two at the bottom down here, um, when I hit the group control, they'll all go into record, all right? And you can see here, these two transmitters have gone into record, right? So you can start and stop recording there as well. Uh -huh. um, now, um, another key feature here, uh, let's just talk about groups a little bit more on how you set that up. So I'm gonna go to my setup menu up here, and here's all the uh, transmitters that I have paired with this device right now. If I go to group setup here, you can see I've got two toggle switches. One to show the all transmitters in the transmitter list. So that's everything you have currently enabled. Or you can create a custom group and you can give this group a name as well if you want to. All right. Um, and then you choose which you put in that group. So let me just say put um, pool two and pool three in that group. So I can just turn those off. So now I have a custom group with only two in it. So now I can come back to my main page here. And if I go to custom group, you can see it's only got those two in there. So this can be useful for sort of separating, a, separating, a, separating out certain uh, of the talent, right? And there's all transmitter list. So yes, multiple control of on and off um, to save power during the course of the day and um, record stop start as well. Now, another nice feature here is you can see that if you do have um, a transmitter set to record that you also get to see its time code. So, you know, the transmitters can be jammed from time code via the USB-C port in multiple ways, either via the power station or using a, a Limo to USB-C connector or even just plugged in directly to the 8 series via a USB-A to USB-C cable. And I'll show you that menu in a second. Um, but, um, so, yeah, we, when we jam, that's going to show the, tr the, the time code for each of those transmitters. It's a really nice quick check to show that your transmitters are still in sync. Mm. Now, just to reiterate a point you made just before, if you do turn off the transmitters, they're not losing time code. They'll hold that time code count accurately for four hours. Mm. Okay? So, there's that. Now, there is another feature that if you are recording, um, you can go into a particular transmitter here, and you can set it to auto resume um, on power up if you want to. Mm -hmm. So that saves an, an another step in terms mm -hmm. of getting back into record after power up. So yeah, the, uh, the custom groups are really powerful features for simplifying the whole control of multiple transmitters. I don't think there's anything out there that quite does that actually. Um, and to be able to do that over long range mm -hmm. is really good. Yeah. Um, what else can I say about that? Yeah, so that's coming out very shortly. Right. At, at this point, 
it's announced because we won't be showing this video until it's actually announced. So Correct. it's available now, um, but in the future from now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You explained yeah. it perfectly. Perfect. Time travel. Correct. Time travel. It's all uh, timey-wimey, as they say, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, um, anything else we should know? No, I think that's it. I think that covers it pretty well. Unless you have any questions? Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, you can always contact us at Gotham Sound. Okay. If we don't know, we'll call Paul, and Paul will call you, or we'll just tell you what Paul says. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you, Paul, for being Pleasure. here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can watch this video and more, including the one we just did about the A20. Uh, at gothamsound.tv. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and you can email us at info at gothamsound.com with questions for demos, and you know, as kind of like a, you know, what is a game of telephone going to Paul and back, uh, we, we can do that too. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Yep. Paul, thanks thank for you. being here. Thank you.